Hi, my name's Mick Hall. Um, today I'm going to perform a really easy procedure just to upgrade the memory um, in this QNAP NAS device. Um, this is model number uh, TS231P2 um, and initially it came with one gigabyte of memory. I believe you can buy them with more. Um, I decided to go with the one uh, gigabyte and upgrade myself to eight gigabytes which is the maximum it can take. So the very first thing we need to do in this procedure is obviously have a memory chip available. Um, is to remove your hard drives. Now as this is a new unit, there aren't any hard drives installed, but on your own devices, your hard drives will sit in these carriers. So we remove your hard drives. And then on the back, we have just two screws that we need to remove, one at the top and one at the bottom. This you can see on the, it actually sits in the plastic frame or the plastic case around the edge. So no mistake in which ones you need to take out. So we remove those two. On the bottom, you can see there is a symbol there of a padlock, uh, locked and unlocked, with an arrow by the side of the locked um, padlock. So what we need to do is just sit this down and then slide this towards the back, towards the unlocked position. That will go to there. It goes with a nice, nice firm slide and then we can lift that part of the case off. Okay, so in here, the memory chip itself sits down inside here, so we're gonna to have to remove this framework that's sitting over the top of it. Now to do that, we have two screws on each side and two screws on the back of the case. So there's two there and these two on this side. One, two. And then, as I say on the back, we have two screws here where you can see there's two arms. You can see there, one there and one there, which got screws going through to the back plate there. So both of those have got to come out as well. So we'll just remove those. Okay. And with those two removed, we should now be able to remove this section here, which is just has this one connector here into the main board. And that is that whole framework out of the way. Okay, so that gives us nice easy access to the chip which is sitting there. Um, all we need to do on this chip is literally just move these levers to the side, very very easy, and the chip should just pop up out of place like that. We'll leave it like that just for a second while I unpack this, and then uh, this removed. Okay, there is a slot in the chip as you can see here. Um, this has to go in the correct way obviously if it was around this way it's going to be out of line with the one that's in there. I can see the slot in there which you may just be able to see in there but as you see when I take it out you'll see which way around the slot is. So as you just put, just release that there and you can see the slot is in that on the right hand side so we will replace this with the slot lined up with the same slot. Just push it in very gently to make sure it's not going to go in any further. And then literally all you're going to do is just push slowly down on there and each side will clip in nicely. And that's it. So we now just replace what we removed. So let's go around this way, it'll be a bit easier. So we get our framework and we line this up with our with our socket that you can see there and we will just ease this back into position. So that's into there, that goes nice and easy and just nice and gently push down. It can't go down any further and then replace our rear screws first.
and then our two either side to hold the case firmly in position. Now if you go onto um, QNAP site it will give you the um, specification of the memory chip that you need. Um, I went to a, I got my memory from a site just that's called My Memory. Um, it's the cheapest I could find. And they're a well established company so shouldn't be any problems with the chip itself. So that's the last one of those. That's into there. And then we're going to replace the case. So again just line up the front and the back. Um, this is where the back screws are going to go in so we just go gently over onto there. It drops into position on the um, on the bottom part and then just literally slide it forward and then replace our two screws either side. So that one nicely into there. And the second one into there. And then we would replace your drives if you have drives installed or in my case just carriers one and two and that is it now when this is powered back up um, you can go into the settings and you should see in the settings that it should then recognize that eight gigabyte of ram that you've now installed that's it thank you hope you enjoyed watching that and i'll see you soon bye bye